Welcome to growing your food in your own backyard. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is fall and it's time to start overwintering a lot of our tropical hot weather plants. And in this particular instance, I have three bell peppers growing. As you can see, this one is doing really good. This bell pepper, the little uh, miniature bell peppers are turning orange. And then I have bell peppers here. I do have this, this insect barrier over it to just keep the insects off. And I'm continuing growing these through the fall. Our daytime temperatures are gonna be up in the 70s until about the October 15th. Unfortunately, the nighttime temperatures are dipping down into the late 40s and early 50s. And therefore, it will stunt the growth of the bell peppers. So I'm gonna show you a, 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 a picture of where I double wrapped my bell peppers with frost blanket. I get about maybe five to seven degrees protection with the frost blanket. When I double the frost blanket, I get probably about maybe um, 10 to 14 degrees protection. The sun that um, comes in the morning when I keep the frost blanket on actually will warm up the inside of the pepper plant. Unfortunately, I will have to start harvesting these pepper plants um, in the next two weeks. But in the meantime, this particular pepper in the middle, it actually stopped growing. It stopped producing peppers. And I wanna to try to overwinter it indoors. I've tried to overwinter bell peppers in the garage and I was not successful because unfortunately, the garage was getting too cold for the bell peppers. Even with putting frost blankets over my plants that I was overwintering, for some reason the bell peppers didn't do well. So I'm going to uh, try a different method and see if it Where I am going to overwinter the bell peppers indoors under my grow light. As you can see, I've already cut back my bell peppers. I already cut them back and I have another bell pepper I also need to cut back. So in a little bit, I'll show you how to cut back the bell peppers. And we're gonna also overwinter that one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start digging up this bell pepper to transplant in this container. I'm going to also spray the ginger plant that I also have. And I'm also going to get behind the leaves. Sure, I've been able to 
Another thing I'm doing different in my garage is I'm putting in a heat fan. As you can see, this heat fan, I just placed it a week ago. So now I'm gonna slowly be bringing in a lot of the plants, the tropical plants I have that do not do well in cold temperatures in zone 5B, especially where temperatures dip down under 50 degrees. We're, we get nice daytime temperatures at 70 degrees, but our nighttime temperatures, unfortunately, are below 40 degrees, excuse me, below 50 degrees, high 40s, mid 40s, and our tropical plants don't do well. So this little device here, the heat fan, it blows out heat, and I'm gonna see how well it does in the winter time to be able to add heat to my garage for those plants I'm gonna, those tropical plants I'm gonna be overwintering. I do put frost blankets over these plants during the winter months when the temperatures get down in the single digits and my garage does not stay warm enough to keep the temperature above 32 degrees. Because that's the key, is keep the temperatures above 32 degrees and the fruits won't, and the roots won't freeze. But again, the ginger plant comes in and now the bell pepper plants are going to come in and we're going to see how well I do overwintering them indoors under the grow light. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button.